Okay, here we're going to do the word divine in Descript. So first let's look at the simplest possible combination. So there we've got our D, and then we're going to catch our I in the cup, and then we need our V, I, N, E. Okay, now that doesn't look very good, but we got a lot to improve on here. This would be the simplest way to combine it, and that's what I, by that I mean you're just kind of looking at them and trying to fit them together using word lines to connect them. What can we do with this? First of all, the I combination looks much better when drawn like so, simply drawing the I on top of the D instead of extending the word line down. Because when you bring the word line down, this could be a D or an H, and you're not sure, and then you're probably going to have to add that extra little tail to make clear that it's a D it's pointing up. Anyways, so we'll... We'll skip, skip past all that for now and not worry about that. Most people should be beyond those levels by now. And then we've got our V. Now what can we do with this? Well, our VI combinations, we can connect the I. As you can see, this would be an I. And then you can simply join it all the way up to the V. So as long as there's this clear pi cut out of it, then it's VI. Not, it can't close up, can't ever make it start looking like an O. But that's not very hard to, hard to avoid. Divine. And then we could add our, we could put our, our, try to put our N inside of the E, our NE inside of there. Um, not a very big space to work with. It might look nice, actually, though. I'm really liking this so far. The any, I think, might kind of ruin it. Yeah, it kind of pulls it down too far. I really like it ending there. So I'd say we're either going to have to bring it off to the side, which might work, or try to put it inside. So let's make that a little bigger now. And give it some style. D, I... That's not very even. I'm trying to make this pretty. Start from scratch quickly. Boom. D. I. V. Okay, that's coming along not bad anyways. It's okay. I'm not extremely fond of how it turned out, and it's a little harder to draw than I liked. Um, there's a couple other combinations we need to cover quickly. We've got the VI, um, so we've got like that. What we didn't cover was the IV. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. One is to actually make the V cup like so, and have it catch a word line to indicate that there's an I and a V together. As you can see, basically, it's got the characteristic of the I of catching it instead of the, as it normally would with the V, and it's got the V curvature and point to it. That's one option. Um, not used often because it's very easy to mess it up. If you just happen to draw it too close or people don't notice, they'll quickly think that it's just a V and not an IV, which can, can really mess up your words. The other option is to actually connect the two with a curve, kind of like so. And then the words have to be caught into this zone here. It's a lot harder to draw. It requires much more skill, but it, it can look very, very nice. So if we were to try to do that, Problem is we're dealing with a D here, so we'd have to draw it over top of the D, which makes it a little easier to catch, actually, because you got the D. And then you could connect the I like so again. Divine. Actually, that's kind of nice. I'm starting to see wings and a head and arms. I'm starting to see maybe an angel in here. Maybe even put the N-E on the bottom. Try that once more. I'm running out of black pens. D I D. I and E, no. But yes, I'm, I'm seeing a chestal area, arms. I see a person coming out of this, very nice. There's something to work with there, definitely.